a Windows machine. As he said, I'm uh, using a Windows machine. So for a Windows machine user, they can connect with this server using this software, which name is Mobile Stam. And as he, uh, as he previously showed you how to connect it. So first we need to click on session. And there uh, will be various kind of options, but we are going to SSH it. So for this, we need the public IP address of our server. As uh, as it is here, so we can copy from here. Just click on that and we can paste it. Now we have to specify the username. I am specifying it as a Ubuntu. And in the advanced SSH settings, as for secure connection, we have downloaded a private key and now we have to attach it here. So for so the first we need to Yes, yeah, so remind you when she yeah, you got your point. So when she created the EC2, she actually created a private key and she gave the name ecom that was saved on our computer. So she has to show that. That's actually the going to evaluate by the EC2 server. And then if it is valid, then she'll be able to connect to that server. So now let's click. When you click it, it will tell you, do you want to accept? means it is asking for the permission and you are, it is going to allow you. So now you are actually in the server. So you are actually in the Linux server. So now you'll be, as we are talking, you'll be learning the, the some Linux command as we go. The clear means clear the screen, make it a little bit bigger, the, the, the terminal. So we do not, we call the terminal, we call the screen. So today you learn the two things. We call the website page, and the black screen or the, the any device screen, we call the screen. So we call the two things, GUI, we call the screen. So GUI means graphical user interface, something is graphical website, and we call the terminal or the black screen, that's the device screen. Mobile app, we also call the screen because it's a mobile. Okay, so now what you're going to do, here is our plan. When you get a new operating system, you have to update the operating system itself. So that's the command, sudo super user do apt is like the uh, package manager for the Ubuntu and you said update because this machine was it just created. So you have to do this in the beginning. Okay, after this done, this is our plan. We are going to actually reach to the GitHub, we'll be down to the, the GitHub repo and then we'll be start a, do our journey. So now before this start here, Let's go to the GitHub. So we show you what is on the GitHub journey, right? Because you saw that now developer is very happy. Oh, I know this part, right? Who is developer, who is QA, they will say, oh, I know this. You know, don't worry about this. So that's actually the when developer uh, write the code, it is on their computer the same way, but they push it. They push, again, it's the part of the Git. This is not, we'll be running, we're not going to teach you the Git, but we are going to cover. So that's actually the code. So in this code, there will be backend, there will be front end. Can you go home a little bit? Just click on your Dolon Hider, your icon on the top left. Okay. So on the Git, of course, the, just become quick familiar. All this repositories means a specific code base. Can be front end, can be backend. You give the meaningful name of your code base, basically. Okay, that's the, your goal. Anything you do, you have to give the meaningful code name. So that's the reason ecom to ecom backend, you are giving this. You can give the access permission to other developer to see it. They can contribute it. And then you can see the read-only access, all kinds of things Git does itself. Because it's a GitHub, it is the enterprise version. Under the hood, they are using the Git code base because Git is, in general, Git is free, okay? So the code base is here. We are actually, go to the code base, please. This is the code base. So you guys, you guys don't need to be on the like the dark zone. And there is a link. We are we are going to cover the copy the specific link for this. So just just keep in mind, take a notes. Okay, take a notes. We are not going to do now. I see your test. You will see the magic happen soon. So go back to your server now. Okay. So we are going to clear the screen. We did clear. So all as I said, be be organized. So we are going to create a folder mkdir which is creating a folder and we can call it e-commerce or whatever you want to call. Go ahead. Okay, uh, now as he said, like uh, as um, 
this is my git repository so here this ecom backend application first as i said we have to deploy the backend first so now i am going to uh, uh, install or now i am going to like clone this repo but it is, it is not a public repo it is a private repo you can see there is private written so uh, if i now click on this uh, link of ssh now if i write down git clone and if i put the link what will show me Yep, so the git clone git is the command and clone means nothing but you're copying the same code base on your remote computer. Okay, yes, from your, on your but it is, yep, uh, and yes, it is showing permission denied. Why? Because it is a private repository. So I cannot uh, clone a private repository. For that, I need a SSH key, like it is a sequential option. So I need a SSH key to uh, install this application in my server. For that, we have to create this SSH key in our server. And for creating this, the command is SSH, sorry for the typo, SSH key then. That means it will generate a secure shell key for us. Now we have to hit enter, and then again enter, then again enter, and again. So here we can see your public key has been saved in this directory. That means in this direction, in this directory, my public key has been saved. So for viewing it, what we need to do, sudo super user, then cat. Cat is a command. Cat is used for viewing any file content. So whatever inside that id uh, ed25519.pub uh, i i can able to see it using this cat command and now i'll just copy this directory as it is located here i'll hit enter so you can see it generated a key for me and that is my ssh key now i'll copy this one now we have to we have to add it in our GitHub account as we have to SSH this uh, location or this Git file. For that, we need to add this in our account. So for adding this, we have to go to the right side of our Git, side, Git account. There will be several options from it. There is a settings option. So I'll open so it in I'm a new tab. So this is part of the integration now because the operating system and the gate, they're two different entities. And the purpose of this all about the security, maintaining the, the secure way of communicating and then sending them the receiving the data. So this is all this one time um, when you the prepare an environment, means the, the host deployment, in any application, you do it all one time, then you don't need to do it. Again, you will do again if you deploy the new application and you will be doing the same thing again. So this is, you do not need to do all that, but we are showing you from the scratch so you know how it works. Now here is the option called SSH and GPG keys. And you can see there is an option called new SSH key. So that's how we can add new sequential key. So click on the new key button and here we need to give it a name. And here we have to paste our server SSH key which I have copied already. So now I need to click on add SSH key. It will be just added. So while adding a SSS key, it will ask for my account password. So I'm just going to give it. So it is your GitHub account, the password basically. As my password is correct, it is successfully added. So you can see that it is added here, ecom. And this is the key. So it is added in my account. So now I can clone this uh, repository. From here, I again copied the link. Now if I write git clone and the link. To ls now. LS means list. It will list the directory files and uh, directories. That means the folders. So here we can see now ecom to back. This is our application backend folder name. It is here in our system. So that's how we can uh, clone 
a, a private repository from git to your server so what do you have done here we actually the the uh, with the server with the git we create the public private key integration we configure it and we actually git load it to the server so when this part is done uh, we'll be doing the next part 